It's small and affordable. George Bowgen of Torrington, Connecticut is thoroughly pleased with the modest four-door 1963 Chevrolet Chevy 2 that he's owned since 2006 after receiving a call from a friend who worked for a local car dealer. He said, you got to come up, bring your checkbook. I got a car for you. Knew I was looking for a manageable car to restore. So at lunch, I went up. I took it for a drive. I had no clue what or didn't remember what power steering was, so I overtook the turn. Uh, didn't realize cars didn't all have power brakes, so I almost missed the stop sign. Fell in love with the car, purchased it, very inexpensive that day. I think he just wanted to get rid of it, and I've had it since 2006. Chevrolet launched the Chevy 2 in 1962 as an inexpensive entry-level model. The base price in 1963 was $2,180. Baujin paid roughly $800 for his car. It's grandma's car and uh, it was just something I looked at and I figured I could manage fixing this piece by piece. You can almost crawl in the engine to work on it. No real electronics to speak of. Uh, it was just something that I thought was very manageable. The Chevy is powered by a V8 engine. It has an automatic transmission and bench seat. While cosmetically okay, it came with a lot of headaches in terms of performance. After driving it for a spell, Baujin parked it. I'm not that mechanically inclined. And then it was during COVID where I had the time that I narrowed down some of the problems, began cleaning it, enjoying it. The Chevy 2 got sent out this year to get dialed in, and it has only been recently that it has gotten regular use. This is a midlife whim. Uh, I always enjoyed them, but I knew I didn't have the capacity to, to really take apart and overhaul a car. And when this one showed up, it kind of satisfied that, that midlife craving for one. And maybe it's the start of something. Baujin loves the Chevy too because it's simple, unlike many of the muscle cars and rear entries seen at car shows. There's nothing sexy about it, but it's mine and I enjoy it and I like playing with it. And if I can't sleep late at night, I, I grab some of the polishers and I play with it. And, and it's fun. I've been toying with the idea of maybe having it repainted. It's not the original paint. The only thing it could use is a little bodywork to fix some paint bubbles and chips. It's a fun little car, and again, it's the uniqueness. It's not a Corvette. It doesn't have 14 coats of lacquer paint on it. And I would recommend anybody who is looking at maybe getting into older cars, get something manageable, enjoy it. It's, it's not about the money, it's about the fun that you can have with it. And I've had had fun with it. That's Ride Connecticut, I'm Bud Wilkinson, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit the Ride Connecticut website.